Man United players expect Ten Hag to be sacked by Sir Jim Ratcliffe with squad turning on the manager. As 10 players set for huge injury return, Manchester United players doubt if manager Eric Ten Hag will remain at the club beyond this season, according to the Daily Mail. The Dutchman still has the support of most players regarding his tactics and leadership, but there's a growing expectancy that he'll not be at the helm next season. There have been some grumblings about the intensity of training sessions, but most players reportedly back Ten Hag's approach. Approach. However, the recent ownership change has players doubting if Ten Hag will remain at Old Trafford, with many believing new co-owners in Yo's will likely make a managerial change at the end of the season. Ten Hag has maintained he has open communication with the Yo's chairman Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his team, but privately, the former Ajax boss has acknowledged the lack of guarantees about his future. The new CEO, Omar Barada, and incoming sporting director, Dan Ashworth, will likely assess Ten Hag's position. If United win the FA Cup and secure Champions League qualification, Ten Hag could get a stay of execution, but the recent 3-1 derby loss left a bitter taste in the mouth. Also, they face a tough FA Cup quarter-final test against Liverpool. The Reds are fierce in hunting every title to give manager Jurgen Klopp the perfect send-off, making it a tall order. Injuries have played their part in deterring Ten Hag's sophomore season, with several players missing games due to different setbacks. Players like Bruno Fernandes, Rafael Varin, Marcus Rashford, and Johnny Evans have played through niggles to show their support for the manager. However, questionable decisions like rushing Luke Shaw back against Luton Town after an injury with which might have worsened it, created doubts among the players. Also, Ten Hag and his assistant, Mitchell van der Gogh, have a hard-line approach with demanding training sessions and a lack of flexibility regarding rest days. It has reportedly created discontent amongst players. Some players want lighter training sessions to manage fatigue and stay injury-free. The coming weeks will be crucial for both Ten Hag and the club, with results and ownership decisions shaping the manager's fate at Old Trafford. In other news, Man United injury update with 10 players and race to be fit to save Eric Ten Hag's job. Defiant and determined, Eric Ten Hag's post-match comments in the aftermath of Sunday's derby defeat for Manchester United depicted a man positive about his team's future. The reality, however, is Man City's deserved 3-1 win has further ramped up the pressure on the Dutchman, with new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe tellingly declining to publicly back his manager since his arrival. With the Red Devils sixth in the Premier League and 11 points off the top four, Ten Hag now needs results and will be desperate for a number of key players to return amid a mini-injury crisis. Below, Express Sport takes a look at the latest injury situation. Luke Shaw It's been a season to forget for the England left-back, whose Euro 2024 ambitions are dwindling after his latest injury blow. Last month, he picked up the latest in a series of muscle problems, with Ten Hag admitting he expects the 28-year-old to be absent for a few months. If Shaw does play again this season, he's unlikely to appear before May, by which time he might even be under a new manager. Lissandro Martinez Shaw's absence has denied Ten Hag the use of one of his certain starters, and the injury problems to Martinez have signified a hammer blow. The Argentine was a key performer for the Red Devils last season, but a foot problem hampered the start of his 2023-24 campaign and shortly after his return earlier this year, the centre-back damaged the medial collateral ligament in his knee against West Ham. He's expected to be ready for the start of April when United face crunch games with Chelsea and Liverpool, but a lack of match fitness will surely hinder selection. Anthony Marshall United's failure to offload Anthony Marshall last summer will almost certainly lead to him leaving on a free transfer in June, and given his current layoff, he's another player who won't feature this month as the club desperately seek an upturn in form. The French forward has struggled this year with groin, hip, and pelvic issues, and after undergoing surgery in late January, Ten Hag admitted the player would be out for about 10 weeks thereafter. But should he be declared fit in April, it's not a return likely to turn around United's fortunes. Tyro Malaysia The absence of Shaw has been exacerbated by a serious knee injury to the youngster expected to challenge him for a place in the X side this season. Tyro Malaysia The 24-year-old has been out since the summer and last month suffered a setback in his rehabilitation. A return to training is reportedly nearing though. Having not kicked a competitive ball in anger this season, he's likely to be managed carefully, but at least the extra defensive option will be welcomed by Ten Hag. Rasmus Hoyland out of all the current absentees plaguing Ten Hag, it's the absence of Rasmus Hoyland that will sting the most. 
The 72 million poundman was finally on a hot streak when it emerged he would miss the game with Fulham on February 24th with a muscle strain, having scored seven times in his previous six Premier League games. He's expected to miss the home game with Everton this Sat but will be in contention for the FA Cup visit of Liverpool the following weekend, and United need him to not only return, but do so with a vengeance. Mason Mount the ex-Chelsea midfielder is fast becoming the forgotten figure of United's erratic season and has been out since the middle of February with calf and heel problems. The 55 million pound man is another who could be available in time to face Liverpool at Old Trafford, but Tin Hag will hope the current layoff will yield a refreshed mount when he does return. Otherwise, the perception that the move to Manchester has stalled the England man's career will understandably grow. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all the latest